Okay, it's uh, two days before the window people come and uh, we've moved the chair to the other side of the office. Uh, the desk itself has been emptied out. That back piece is separate so if we have to we can take it off the desk. But meanwhile we've got this huge L-shaped desk which houses the computer and all my files. And then of course you have the fish tank. And step one was to find a place, and this bin is the place, where we put uh, fresh water in and took all the plants and the fixtures out. And then what I'm going to do is let the water settle so that I can eventually catch the fish. Now you will notice that there is a centerpiece still in there. That's because when I got through putting the pieces into this bin, I only could find one of the two clown loaches. And I was concerned about that and all of a sudden realized, I'll bet you he's in that log uh, that I just put in the bin. And sure enough, trying to dump him out, he wouldn't come out and he didn't come out on his own. And so, But I could hear him sloshing around in there. So I thought, well, let me put him back in the tank and let's see if he come out on his own, which will make it a lot easier. I mean, it's easy to catch him that way. But I don't know, it's such a small hole anymore, I'm not sure if that's uh, the best place for him. But meanwhile, you can see, as we saw the other day, the males aren't losing any time chasing the females around. And uh, we've got quite a few babies to catch. And my plan is, uh, tomorrow, the day before the window people come, that need access to this window, which is where the tank is against, and that's why we have to move the tank and empty the water and empty the gravel so I can finally move it. But the uh, challenge is, I have some <sighs> surgery on my hands tomorrow afternoon. And so once I get that, I can't go back in the water. And my wife is recovering from knee surgery, so she's not capable right now. And so I've got to get it all done before I go down to the hospital tomorrow afternoon. So the plan is tomorrow morning, fish out the rest of the fish, empty the water, empty the sand, clean the sand, put it all back together here, and everybody will be in the bin for the next day or two, and then try and do everything else without uh, any hands in dirty water type situation. So anyway, everything is piled up every place. All the shelves have been emptied out. And hopefully I've got enough room there for them to get at the window. And if we have to move the desk, well, it's going to be as light as it can get. And maybe with their help, we can itch it out a little bit to where the chair was before so that they can get out the window and replace the windows. So anyway, that's the beginning. And we'll try and get you a better story as things progress. Next would be to catch all the fish, lower the water, and clean the tank tomorrow morning. Wish me luck. I will tell you this, the fish are very nervous. They're used to a very heavily planted tank and the uh, clown loach that's not inside that log is just shaking for all he's worth, which is what their normal way of swimming but I wish he could lure out his buddy from this small hole that you see right there. That black spot there, that's a hole. And real close up I can see the vibration of the fins in there. But uh, meanwhile, people aren't happy about being exposed the way they are. But like I said, the male mollies, they're more interested in sex than they are anything else. So I can actually count the number of catfish I have in here now, that'll be interesting. And uh, it's mostly guppy babies, but there's some swordtail babies and there's some black molly babies in there. So, and the problem is, you may see the clown loach in the background there. That's one of two. You're just seeing a reflection. It looked like there was two, but there's only one. And so uh, I hesitate if, I, if, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I hesitate to break that piece up. I don't know how I would break it up without injuring the fish. So I'm hoping he has enough good sense to come out and 
take advantage of his freedom. But we shall see. Okay, this video isn't turning out quite as well as I hoped it would. Uh, but I was able to get all the fish out with a great big net. Boy, they are slippery suckers as far as getting around a net coming up the side of the tank. And so at this point, I've siphoned off 90% of the water and I've gotten most of the gravel out that's going into the sink to be cleaned out. Filter's already been cleaned out and uh, a little bit more water and I should be able to move this sucker. But meanwhile, uh, I thought the room temperature would be warm enough for these fish but when I felt it this morning it was quite a bit cooler than the fish tank itself so uh, I added some warm water to it before I put the fish in, got them the same temperature and we'll see how that works out. Interestingly, even as we watch this siphon down, uh, the clown loaches were a challenge. Like I was saying earlier, the one clown loach disappeared and then I realized he was in the fixture that was already in this bin and I couldn't get him out. I was afraid he was stuck in there because it's a very small hole and he was all in there of course. I could hear him flopping around. So I put him back in the tank and between him and his partner, his buddy, uh, they eventually both disappeared in there. And I know they were both in there because later on they were both swimming around. So that worked out rather well and uh, I wouldn't dare put them in the big tank because they're never going to back out again. So everybody's in here, all the babies, sword tails, catfish, uh, clown loaches, everybody and uh, we'll see how they make out over the next day while these windows are being replaced. Looking forward to that. Uh, meanwhile, water is really messed up but I've got cleaning as I go and uh, we'll see an update later. Okay, progress report. Uh, fish seem to be doing fine. Actually got the bin with the fish and plants and substrate and everything off out of the way for the w window installers. It's a heavy bin now so I had to push it very carefully but I'll tell you something when it comes to emptying out a tank this is what's left after I used the python siphoning system and took the gravel out that's in this kitchen sink and that python stuff I've been using it for years you got a 50 foot siphoning piece and it worked like a charm. I mean, I got down to where there's less than a quarter of an inch of water left in that tank. And so now we're into cleaning the sand, moving this uh, tank out of the way of the window, and cleaning it up, and uh, waiting for it tomorrow. Okay, fish seem to be doing just fine. Got the air stones and heater still plugged into that bin. Needless to say, there's a mess on the file cabinet in that corner but at least it's out of the way of the window and my wife's got the window treatments down and so the only challenge left is the desk the desk the desk <laughs> and that's a big piece of furniture so it's going to be interesting to see what we have to do with that whether we can just Move it. We've moved everything over in the corner here, out of the corner. Uh, that's where the chair was you just saw. And so we've got some room to move it away from the window. And then all the gravel's been cleaned. Went much smoother than I would have expected. And uh, it's sitting over in the corner and now it's light enough that I can move the base and then move the tank and then add the gravel back in. And I, I prefer a uh, depth of gravel, uh, deep gravel probably an inch and uh, as much as I could clean on this tank with the great idea that was shared on the YouTube here of using a credit card to clean off the glass because I'll tell you this glass was dirty it hadn't been cleaned a long time and really was very hard crested so anyway that's where we are you're looking at the whole room and uh, Currently, there's my fish tank. 
can't wait to uh, set it back up. It depends upon what they're going to do tomorrow, whether they're going to start with this particular window, in which case I could set it back up while they're working on the others. But we shall see. Stay tuned. Okay, it's the day after. All new windows and the tank has been cleaned. The gravel, which hadn't been touched in a good long while, is now all cleaned out. The fish are taken back out of the bin and back in here and I haven't lost a single one. I'm very pleased with that. As you can see the black mollies are after the algae tabs. Uh, the clown loaches are hanging out in that fixture which is now hidden among the plants right there. And every time I thought well maybe I lost them they were in there both of them a very tight space and put it in the tank. They eventually came out. They've been swimming around. I think they're back in there again now. And the windows look great. A lot more light in here. And uh, that'll give more light to the tank also without being too much. Uh, the desk did get moved. <coughs> End up running down to the hardware store to get some sliders. And now we have to set up the computer again. That's going to be today's task. The fish getting back into uh, their home last night was the task for yesterday but this big huge desk got moved very nicely great team two people came in did all the windows they did an amazing job and now we're really curious to see overall the difference in the temperature in here especially the bedroom which was like a refrigerator uh, when you had the door closed which we did all during the day rather than just heat up an empty room and so the fish are happy they're in a new home. Everything is clean. Changed the electrical situation as far as uh, they've got their own extension. One of the problems I have here, and I don't know if you can see it or not, is there's just two plugs in this room, which doesn't make any sense at all. But now the fish tank is all on one extended extension cord from one of those plugs. The other plug is controlled by the light switch. So that doesn't help me much. So this is really an extension on top of an extension on top of an extension all the way over to underneath here where uh, we have all the computers that's going to be hooked into that one and then the stuff up on top of the desk will be hooked into that one and uh, my concern today is that I find out what cables go with what devices trying to put this back together again. But I gotta tell you, I'm at a loss. My calendar is on the computer, and I have no idea. I didn't back it up before I uh, got into this project to put it on the phone as a Google Calendar, which I often do. But uh, as a result, I'm flying blind and hoping that I don't have too many things scheduled before I get this back up and find out what my schedule is. But anyway, that's the good news. All the fish are happy. Didn't lose a single one and got every one of them back into the tank, eventually taking that huge tub and just dumping what was left of it in there. And the other key thing is I was able to do it without uh, getting my hands uh, where the biopsy skin grafts were taken uh, into the dirty water. And so I was very pleased with that, as will be my doctors. Okay, signing off for today. Okay, it's Friday night, and I'm going to tell you something. The windows are great. All been replaced. The place is warm as toast, as opposed to the bedroom getting like a refrigerator with the cold air that got around the old windows. They moved that desk, and I finally got it back all together, and no cables left over. And I had a heck of a time getting the sound to work on the computer, but finally figured out the problem with that. And so that's some music you hear in the background. And of course the fish, we didn't lose a single one. Everybody's happy. And uh, couldn't be more pleased. Just threw some algae tabs in there so everybody is feasting. I'm not using a tripod right now, I'm just being lazy, sorry about that. 
Those mollies have grown up. And I did get over to that Cherry Hill Pet Supplies Plus store today and bought a bunch of Tetras. Okay. So uh, they had a bunch of Tetras and we now have in the bow tank, the 55 gallon in the living room, a dozen Bristilla Tetras. They look great. They had a couple uh, lemon Tetras, got those, and added some more Serpe to that school. So that tank has got more than enough fish in it. That's <laughs> an understatement. But this tank now being all cleaned out and the home for the uh, yeah, the clown loaches is working out great and everybody made it through no problem and some have asked about the babies. Well, somehow there were none left in there when I got through and they, some had been born in that big tub. So we're all good and everybody's happy. Uh, can't tell you how good it feels. Have everything back where it belongs, all the drawers, all the files back where they belong and the computer finally working. It was amazing. Without the computer, my calendar is on the computer. And I thought, uh-oh, I have no idea what my calendar is for the day. I usually back it up on Google Calendar and I can see it on my phone, but I didn't this time. That was a big mistake. But it turns out I didn't miss anything. And so, just sharing with you a very successful big adventure, uh, major in reinvestment in where we live. You can see that clown loach just disappeared. Here he comes. One of two. They've gotten to be a nice size. Somebody once said that's the problem with them. They get too big. Well, they haven't gotten too big yet. But I'm very pleased with them. I, I really like them. The black mollies are my favorite all-time ones. The red-tailed sharks, you know, are favorites. And uh, everybody's happy here. Especially me. See those Bristella tetras all schooling right here in the high plants. Actually there's a there's a full dozen now. And it's funny when we first put them in, the new six were on the other side of the tank, but now they've merged. We have one school. And then of course we have, as I mentioned, the Serpe that now have a full uh, Full of school also. Aren't they beautiful? I am so pleased with the investment in those denison barbs, I think they're called, although I heard them called something different just recently, so I'm not sure if I'm right or not. But there's one of the serpe against that beautiful lime green plant. I'm trying to get away from the reflection there of the lamp. I didn't uh, prepare the room like I usually do. The angelfish are doing well. I always come out and see what's going on when I've got the camera out here. Yeah, we got all four of them in the front. Isn't that black one getting to be nice? He's beautiful. You see the red tail shark in the background? Here's the other red tail shark right there. Oh, look, we got them both.
I love the way they can disappear into the growth here. Alexa, living room lamp off. Well, I got rid of some of the reflection anyway, huh? No, that's all right. <laughs> 